What is going on everyone? I am here at the Taste of Cyprus. If you remember, I found them at the Geelong Festival. I had a taste of their souvlakis and they were incredible. So I decided that I wanted to try out their whole menu, like not just the souvlaki. I wanted to see what else they had to offer. So I'm here to also get to know the owner, I'm gonna ask him some questions and try some good food. So anyway, see you tonight for dinner. All right, time for dinner. Now let's go check out their menu. Oh, hello. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, to start good. off with, what do you recommend for entree? Okay. Saga market chips, we've got poopers, then we've got halloumi chips. Wow, I'd try all three of them if that's possible. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Saganaki chips. Oh, beautiful. Thank you very much. I'm going to go try these and I'll be back for uh, the souvlaki. <laughs> I had a blank moment there for a second. Alright, so first now I've got some Cupies. Cupies? Coops? <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Now he was telling me the best way to eat these. So you got some lemon juice here. You take a bite, you dip, you take a bite, you dip, take a bite, Ooh. so on. Hmm. Wow. These are really good. Really interesting flavors. It's like potatoey, it's soft. Bit of a sweetness, but yeah, it's still savory. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> well, not another one. Not another one, not like Geelong. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Gubis, which is a traditional snack in Cyprus. It's deep fried, it's made out of cracked wheat and flour as a shell. Inside it's got mincemeat, parsley, onions and herbs. And the way to eat them basically, you bite the top off, squeeze some lemon inside, bite and repeat the process. That's a traditional way how you eat gubis basically. Oh, wow. These are the halloumi chip. It tastes just like cheese and then the dip has a bit of like peanut sort of taste to it. Tahini sauce, the homemade tahini sauce. So, I mean, arguably then actually, they give you a lot of sauce. So you don't have to worry about missing out on sauce. That's a lot of sauce. Like sometimes Mac is, you know, they stingy with the sauce, a little like things. But that's really, really nice. For an appetizer, these are really, really good to get you started. <laughs> halloumi chips, which is uh, a Cypriot halloumi, comes from Cyprus again. And halloumi, no matter what you do to it, it will never melt. Unless it comes from a different country, then some halloumi is melt, basically. Halloumi is mainly goat's milk, and it will have some cow's milk in there as well. So then I think that leaves us the final item, which, I mean, you got to look at it. They're, I mean, it looks identical. You wouldn't be able to tell them apart. That's fine. They gave us another sauce. Take a bite without it. Hmm. Immediately, this is saltier than the other one. With the dip. Hmm. Actually, goes well with the dip. They both tasted quite similar. There's not too much of a difference. I mean, the halloumi cheese tasted a lot more, I guess, cheesy. This came off already a lot more saltier, but I wouldn't say like Saganaki chips has like a distinct taste that you would be like, oh yeah, that's definitely Saganaki. Like you would with, oh, that's chicken or, you know, that's pork or you, you know what I mean? But overall you get them, they're definitely, they're really good. Recently we came with Saganaki chips. We are the first food truck or restaurant in the world to do Saganaki chips. It was a bit of research. Basically, some saganagis will melt, but the saganagi we're using is coming from Greece. So it's got higher melting temperature, which makes it good. Let's go get the main course. And I think you guys know what's coming. Hello, I am back. All right. I was thinking of getting a uh, souvlaki for the main. What do you reckon? Uh, I would recommend the lamb souvlaki. Would you like it with a lot? Yes, please. No, uh, souvlaki. Perfect. Thank you very much. Enjoy. And I'm back with my Suvo Laki. Look at how tender this meat is. This doesn't look like your ordinary, like, meat that you get from, like, your traditional kebab shop, you know, because, yes, kebab souvlaki is really similar. You can argue day and night between the differences, but look, the meat here is really succulent and juicy, all right? Mmm. But now, for the first bite, Wow, this is pretty good. Like, it's not huge, but yeah, it's not too small at the same time. It's like good size, where you can like hold it 
take it around with you. It's not like sticking out massive, but doing a pretty good job filling me up. With the lamb soup like it, we marinate the meat ourselves, uh, like we do souvla in Cyprus. What we thought to do a spin-off, uh, use some Mediterranean and some Greek ingredients. We do the tzatziki, we use pita the same way they use pita in Greece. We add rocket on our souvlaki, because in Cyprus, rocket is a very popular veggie, basically. We thought to come with our own version of souvlaki, and the same way we do the halloumi souvlaki, we got saganaki souvlaki, we got a mix, and we got chicken souvlaki. And a Nutella if you like a dessert. But with those chips and the souvlaki, I'm starting to get full, but I gotta find some room for dessert because a meal is not complete without dessert. Come on, let's go. All right, I'm back, and that souvlaki was beautiful. Thank you. Now, I was wondering, what sort of desserts do you have? One dessert I would recommend is a simolina cake. That was my favorite sweet. Wow. No worries. And what am I doing at the same time? I yeah. will give you a Nutella mousse, which I'll make myself again. Wow. It okay. comes with a warning. A warning? Highly addictive. It's Highly fun. addictive. Highly addictive. Okay, okay, I'll definitely give them a try. Boom. All right, I'm back with my semolina cake. I don't want to spill anything, I'll show you that much. But it's got little two little almonds, I think that is. Hmm. Yeah, definitely almonds. Wow. It's soft. It's moist. <laughs> yeah, drink a warning, girls. It's moist. <laughs> it's like, it's got this nice spongy texture, but it's soft. I've never been to the snow, but I feel like it's got like a snowy texture. It sort of melts apart in your mouth. And it's not like, strong sweet like it doesn't take over your taste buds you know there's some people that probably don't have too much of a sweet tooth but they feel like something just a little lightly sweet i think this would literally hit the spot as for desserts we got a traditional simolina cake which my grandmother used to make it when i was little i used to love the cake and by the time she cooks it takes it out of the oven an hour later it will be half a tray gone basically so what i decided i will do a simolina cake in the truck just to bring something from my childhood. The next thing that I'm gonna be looking at is this Nutella mousse. It's homemade. He also did warn me. It's highly addictive. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, I love Nutella. I definitely have to check this out. So, okay, enough talking. Let's just dig in. Oh, it's soft. <laughs> oh yeah, like you can taste like a strong, like you know, your normal chocolate mousse that you would normally get, yeah. But you can taste the Nutella in there. I mean, what else is there to say? Like, it's freaking good. A really good way to end off the three course meal. You can find Tesla Cyprus. The best way, it will be through Facebook because if we move around from our location, that's the spot I will do a post every day where we are and we've got a TikTok. We show how we prepare the food. Our main spot is in Hillside. We located at Foodworks in Bellevue and we are in the loading dock. If we get invited, we attend festivals. We can do catering for your party, for your engagement or wedding. So there you have it guys. I've tried some really wonderful food from this really wonderful food truck. If you guys are around Hillside, definitely check them out. But the food that I've tasted, I'm keeping it real with you guys. Really, really good. If it wasn't, trust me, you'd know. Other than that, eat good, stay safe, train hard. I'll see you in the next video. Last bite. Beautiful. All right. Oh, good, no worries. <laughs> he's going to be laughing when he's editing it. <laughs> I don't see any hills, nor do I see any sides. But I got a kebab, right? But I got a souvlaki, all right? It's not a kebab, it's a souvlaki because it's Greek, right? Facts. <laughs>